Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fahl and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for July 6th, 2016. These are intensive days again with the Sun opposing Pluto. We can experience changes in our world. We can experience challenges that demand a reaction, that demand our evo uh, evolution in a sense. And two things can happen. A, this is very uncomfortable. This could put us under a lot of stress. This can heighten drama. We need to not let the, that drama or those challenges and the stress that they bring with them rule our seas in a sense. We are the captains of our ship and we're sailing a sea that could be rough during the next few days and we need to take it easy. We need to remember that it will pass in a few days and we need to keep calm. So really take things one baby step at a time and take it as easy as possible. Why? Because at this time our health is also more in danger in aspects of uh, there's a tendency to have more heart attacks during these days, anything that is connected with high blood pressure or strokes. So really everybody, anybody who has a tendency towards this uh, kind of health problems should really take it easy during these days. Don't let stress and drama rule your day. The sun is trining the, the nodes and sextining the nodes and this says that if we do take it easy and if we sail through that sea, during the, we sail through that turbulence during the next few days, we can really get good results. We could really get positive results. So today the sun is, uh, I'm sorry, the moon is in Leo. It's trining Saturn if you are in Central Europe. It's going to be around 12 noontime at its height. It's a great time from morning on to noon to do things connected with your career or with your work. If you are in the States, it's early morning for you. Then there's a Queen Kong to Neptune, a little later than that. And that means that we shouldn't be martyrs. We shouldn't do things for others to the point of exhaustion. And we should remember to put ourselves high enough on our priority list so we can get contentment, contentment as well and, uh, and, and check a V on things that are important to us personally, not only to other peoples in our life. Then there's a Queen Kong to Pluto at around 2200 hours at its height in Central Europe. That's around 1600 hours Eastern Standard Time. That's a time that we really need to keep our minds flexible and our goals flexible and adaptive and changeable and not be obsessive about our ideas and thoughts and let information uh, float in and, and inseminate us in a sense and change the way we think. Other than that, Venus is squaring Uranus at, uh, uh, during the next few days. And this is a time that we could uh, have shorter views regarding our relationships. We could be more intolerant. We could really want to renew things, have a change, move on forward. And this is a time that a lot of people um, look for something new in a relationship, even if they're already in one. So it's, it's, it's a good thing to bring renewal. It's a good thing to bring change and, and really uh, bring new things into your relationships you know, and, and refresh them, but just make sure you do it in an ethical way. Just make sure you do it in a heart, uh, in, in a way that is full of heart, in a way that if you look back at your actions at the later day, you would be proud of them and not something that you would be ashamed of. So I hope you have a very positive day and thank you for listening. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.